So if we take a look at realized price, right? This is the average price of Bitcoin uh, in its entire history where everybody has bought. So uh, the floor right now, the price that uh, we should shall not go below during this bull market. So basically before 2026, we will not see this price $25,000 or below. And we already called this what? When did I forget when I put that stream out? Is it around New Year's, I think I said, or no, actually it was a lot earlier than that. I have to go back and look. I can't remember when that I put out a stream here at some point in the last six months that I said, we're never going to go below $25,000 Bitcoin ever again. And people thought I was crazy at the time. Uh, I think that was closer when we were at 30,000, maybe last September um, or October. I can't remember, but um, yeah, now that is basically confirmed here with realized price. We're not going back below $25,000 in this bull market. Probably not ever again. Um, and so easy to understand, you know, the, the downside risk there of a 50% drop is, uh, not that much versus a two X on the upside, right? So, uh, a lot better, uh, risk to reward balance price was usually your absolute floor. Um, pretty not absolute, absolute floor, but basically your absolute floor, um, is a little bit lower here at 18,000. Don't need to worry about going back there at any time soon. Um, pi cycle top indicator. Now this one is the one that if we already had the top, so what is the scenario that I was saying before, of, um, Bitcoin already having a top in go to Bitcoin's chart here and we were to say, no, 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 no. What do you call it? Uh, basically, uh, you could look at it a number of ways, right? If you look at this wave four here and wave five happening here, then you call this an A, B, and then you have a C wave, which is basically the same as this A wave here. You just have that move all the way back down to $15,500 Bitcoin. This was just a bounce at a bear market. Right. That could happen. I think it's highly unlikely based on its four year cycle. Um, but if that did happen, something along those lines, um, then that could be your local top. But the reason why that is probably highly unlikely is because we do not have this pie cycle top indicator marking this as a, you know, uh, an important top. It did mark the top of that wave three uh, of five as an important top. So, um, yeah, uh, it's it's been pretty on point here. And this is coming closer together as you know, basically the, what, what do you have to see here is when the yellow crosses that green line, right? Um, and if you want to see this, you can go into look into bitcoin.com. Uh, you just scroll up to the charts. You can kind of see all the different ones here. Um, but yeah, um, not even close right now to crossing. So, um, still pretty good there versus in the last bull market, right? Um, they're getting real close, real, real close for a while. And then boom, you get top of the market, you know, come down there. Right. So, um, oops. Probably have to refresh that for the whole chart. But anyways, um, no macro top as of yet. Um, golden ratio multiplier is interesting here because look at what we just hit. All right. Uh, we hit the, uh, what is that? The um, 2X basically of the 350-day uh, moving average. Right. So uh, this is like fib sequences off of the 350 day moving average for Bitcoin. So we had the 1.6 accumulation high. So we were accumulating here. We got a couple accumulation peaks and then pull, uh, pulled back there. We found that area of support, then moved up to the next level, right, which is our potential bull high. Right. And then you get your multiple X's on that. But if you go back and you look at previous markets, previous bull market went past the red to the next level. Right. And then if you go to the next one, went red, then two levels higher, go into the bull market before that, red, one, two, three levels higher, one, two, three, four levels higher, right? So each time here, it looks like it gets one level less. And so uh, in terms of, you know, we just hit the red here, um, which is currently at uh, <laughs> about, you know, $66,700. That's where that red line is. Um, we just hit that. So we might get, you know, that nice 30% dump here, come back a little bit below the green line, get some more accumulation going before we continue here. But this is one way to kind of look at, you know, has Bitcoin moved too far too fast? And that red line should be an area uh, where if, when, when or if Bitcoin hits it um, is an area to have a little caution.